Welcome back to the Guggen Squad channel. We are here today at the Guggen Squad laboratory headquarters, if you will. You've probably seen the warehouse. You've seen all of our boats and everything in there where we do podcasts and all that. But I bet you didn't know we have a secret facility of all of the greatest minds and fish and developing products right here at the Guggen Squad headquarters. I'm a rolling stone, bound to roll. The trench hog, the mondo worm, crack and crawl. Ever. This is huge. He, huge. He designed this bait. I am Lake Fort Guy, otherwise known as Justin Rackley is my real name. Everybody just calls me LFG or Rackley here at the Guggen Squad. But it has been a childhood dream of mine to develop baits for the outdoor industry. Be in the fishing industry in some kind of way and we're living the dream. I mean, we're in here making baits, products for the industry and it's something I love to do behind the scenes. So when I was in college, doing college fishing tournaments and things, I actually bought a little plastic molding kit. And I would mold little plastic baits in my dorm room and just play around with different things and try to come up with weird colors and just get a feel for making plastic baits. I was really terrible at it at first, but I figured out it was a science. And then later on, when I was a fishing guide and was getting into the fishing industry more, I actually lived in a facility that made soft plastic baits. It was Lake Fork Trophy Lures. Uh, I stayed in there for, for months when I didn't really have a place to, to stay and guide the owner, Ronnie Parker. He let me stay in that facility. I can still smell the garlic to this day, but I, but I got to experience plastics being made and uh, how, how it's done and the whole process. Got to learn a, a ton and uh, man, I can still smell the garlic on me to this day. It's bad. So a lot of people know me and all the rest of the guys from being on videos, we do silly stuff, and then we go out and catch fish. We try to bring fishing knowledge to everybody, but uh, one of the things that I really enjoy is coming into the office and getting to work with our amazing product team and staff on developing new baits. Okay, we're here at the headquarters. It's time to get a tour. Let's go. Yeah, well, um, Austin, we just sent you uh, two more images for the, um, nope. the cup duck camo. They're, uh, uh, they're hard working there, doing the actual numbers, crunching things. I was gonna go tell them to uh, Give me some hard data, but it looks like they're on a live stream. Let's go to the next room. This looks to be Matty B's office. Looks like he's working on some uh, new box, some boxing stuff. Look at that sleek. A lot of secrets in here. Can't show you too much. A lot of secrets, but a lot of brain marketing ideas come from this room right here. Hey, Grant. So this is Grant right here. Uh, he's making sure that inventory supplies and all of the, uh, the beautiful. What are you working on right now? These are stickers. These are stickers? So every not every month, there'll be a new sticker in every order. Okay, and every uh, every shirt order even? Every shirt order, every Everything? day order, every order. Okay. So, you know, little, little things like that. It's the little touches. Grant, thank you. Well, what could this be over here? Is this maybe some, some ducks stuff? Get ready for hunt season. Fridge, should we show them the fridge? You know, when you get hungry or thirsty, we gotta show you guys the fridge. Well, what do we got going on in here? Looks like a lot of ranch waters. Looks like some leftover macaroni and cheese. Probably some stuff, stuff from Haywire. <clears throat> Can't forget your Tito's thinking juice. That's where all the best ideas come from. There's that. Oh, and this right here, the Chief Executive Officer, Mr. Bat. Well, you know, he's gotta have the bougie chairs over here. You come sit in talk about, you know, maybe your fishing experience from the day before, maybe make some calls and, you know, da da da, da sit in your warm leather. Maybe you come over here and 
look at some screens, act like you're doing some stuff, whatever. And then uh, he's got some cool shoes here. I'll give him that. He's got some pretty cool shoes. You know, first official shoe design, Guggen Squad. It's pretty neat. But anyway, nothing gets done in here. I, maybe I have the perfect job. I think that that's what the, I think that what I'm explaining is I, I I get to fish for a living. I get to make products and uh, have a good time. What role did you play in the production of the Google Mini Pigs? <laughs> what role did I play? I said, good job, guys. Like, <laughs> you guys did a great job of making this. No, uh, with, with Rackley being such a big crappie angler and, and loving a different style of fishing outside of just bass fishing, you know, we wanted to build something that, was, that resonates with, with what he does and what he loves to do and what a, a lot of people in America do with and what you see on lakes is well, there's a lot of crappie anglers and with the Guggen brand and what we're able to do I think it just was a natural progression to to come out with crappie baits um, and Isaac and Trey were given the, the reins to just run with it and what they've come back with is stellar. Well we're working on a um, panfish um, style um, lures to help you catch crappie, bluegill, um, speckled crappie, black crappie, white crappie, whatever you guys may call it, but really it is uh, focusing on things like this, the bandino bug, which you guys may be familiar with. We are playing around with scale. What you see here is a two inch 3D printed bandino bug. It allows us to look at it and make sure we get um, the scale correctly, proportions right, as we move into designing the colors and things of that nature. But it's really important for panfish to make sure we have the right sale, the right size to work with your jig heads, um, and also for it to fit in the fish's mouth. Well, we're in a 3D program CAD, Fusion 360. Um, as, as I said before, this is a one inch, inch and a half, and a um, inch and three, two inch, and then two and a half inch. So we have some guidelines. So you can kind of orbit it around, look at its head, make decisions on the bait, which is pretty cool to see it right, like this in the computer. Um, but it's another thing how it's going to swim. But the main part is getting the scale correctly. So I'll go back into the design field, put up the sketches again, my guidelines to make sure I'm scaling these correctly. And every part is selectable. So essentially that's all I'm doing. I try to get these done correctly to get back to 3D prints and also before we go overseas to get our manufacturing done. And these smaller baits are going to be excellent for tough conditions oh, when bass are <laughs> not apt to hit those bigger baits. And some of the favorite baits that you love, like the Bandito Bug going down to a smaller size to put on a, a small jig head or a drop shot. And even the Saucy Swimmer, just changing it up a little bit more to a minnow profile, uh, swimming those on jig heads, drop shots. Some, some anglers up in the, uh, the northern lakes are going to absolutely love these. And let's not forget the crappie. 79? That's the 79? I want to, but it's a, this one's more expensive, so it might end up being 99. I mean, these go from anywhere from 30 bucks to, you know, the nice ones are like 100 bucks. Fish pond? Yeah, fish pond stuff's like. We are looking at. Toters. These are tackle toters right here. Coming up, these are going to be probably four or five months from right now. These are for taking all of your favorite lures, storing them in an awesome little tackle tray box. It actually comes with trays. So you got your, your everyday carry right here, full of zippers, full of boxes. Lots of different side storages, tons actually. Beautiful. Got the Derb certified tackle toter with what, seven trays fit in there. Pretty incredible. Seven. Seven huge trays. And uh, oh, there's more than seven. There's eight. Actually, yeah. No, there's eight. nine. There's two little ones, Come and then there's three. yeah. Tons of zippies. Put your snacks. Put your uh, maybe put your. You can base, soft plastics on the sides, load it down, pliers, all that stuff. That one's gonna be uh, going when I go fish with somebody else in their boat. We got you covered if you want a tote on your back, right here. Heavy duty backpack, ready to go. Hit the ponds, hit the lake. Maybe you're in the salt water, you wanna do some surf fishing. Carry your stuff out to the jetties, you can do it all. 
tons of zippies. Just a lot of good, good storage on this. Good quality zips. Folks at home, this is coming at you. This is the kind of stuff we're doing in here. We got you in mind. This right here, yet to be named, I would like for it to be called Belly Buster. <laughs> uh, but probably one of the most utilized um, pieces of terminal in my spring fishing tackle is a weighted, uh, belly weighted hook with a little spinner on it. Whooping head? Flippies. When you want to get serious with them. Ooh, heavy, thick. Throwing your big braids. Love the plastic keeper. Yes. Hey, we need to make. I know, make what what are the, what are those um, drop shot hooks that we use in uh, the, the cover hook? Yeah, the cover shot hook. Oh, funny oh. you should mention that because that's what our drag and drop hook is. Oh, no. <laughs> it's a cover shot. <laughs> Beautiful. Green, green tungsten. Holy moly! Oh. I haven't seen these. You haven't seen them? Oh, oh my gosh. gosh, these are nuclear. We're bringing green. To the scene. <laughs> These are our um, tungsten weights right here. So, getting a first glance at our Dugan Squad tungsten. You've been fishing with samples almost all year. I have. I have. I've already been, been, been slaying with them. But not the green ones. Not the green ones. Have not caught any on the green. I'm interested to see what that does. We, we might just get them excited. We did it on the drop shot way, so still not going to rip those off. Constantly. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll have to do a little thing on the hack tip where you can put a little mosquito hook on the thing. Oh, doll on the hook. Guys are doing that oh, on the drop shot weights when they're biting the weight. They'll put a little mosquito hook up with attached to it that's yeah. flippering on the thing and catch them on the weight too. Sometimes you gotta put them. Sometimes you gotta put little finesse weights in your worms. It helps, you know, if you're fishing wacky style or you could do a Nico or something like that. So we have some uh, some plastic insertion weights. And then I believe we also have some putty. Is that correct? This is something you guys haven't seen yet that you're gonna like. Especially if you're a tinker, if you like to tinker with your your hard baits with uh, weights, especially jerk baits, things like that. Or if you just need to add little bits of weights to your raw hooks, to your line even. This is the deal. And I don't know. We'll get it. We got it. It's caught somewhere. Don't worry. We have a picture. There's so much terminal. Think about how many products sit in the terminal world. 